Hello guys and girls, Raj here. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are an existing viewer, welcome back. Uh, so we are going to talk a little bit of a different subject today. Uh, so holidays are coming, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year, Diwali, Durga Puja, all that stuff. Uh, so, but this is not just the time to have fun and relax. This is also the best time to prepare yourself. Uh, because quarter one of any year is the highest time for interview, hiring, all that stuff. Uh, so if you look at my career personally, you will see I always switch jobs in quarter one. So for Amazon, I joined in February. Uh, for Verizon, I joined in March. And for JP Morgan through Cognizant, I joined in April. Uh, so all my interviews happened in like January, February timeframe. And I always prepare during the holidays. Even though I'm not looking to change job uh, next year, uh, I, I always have some goal to learn during the holiday season to improve myself. So in this video, we are going to go over two different things. One is the state of the cloud report uh, from a cloud guru to see which cloud is getting traction, what areas in the cloud is hot. And the second thing we are going to go over is uh, how to set a goal for yourself. Uh, like how much should you learn uh, to get the job? So let's, let's get started. So let's go over the state of cloud learning report published by a cloud guru. Uh, so all, all credit goes to them. I'm going to give a link to this report if you want to download. Also, all the timestamps are given for this video. If you want to go back, rewatch some sections or skip to the sections that you want to watch first, all that good stuff. Uh, so another thing is um, this report is uh, created from significant data points. So generally, I don't trust surveys that is only based on like 100 or 200 people, especially like salary surveys. Like, have you ever asked about your salary? Like they just run it on very few number of people and they will uh, produce something that's supposed to be like a general trend, which is not. Uh, so as you can see, this, uh, this, um, this report has been produced from hours of content consumption and 20,000 students and a huge variety of roles. Uh, so this is this is a good uh, data point. So I wanted to go over a couple of things which are interesting and should help you. So the biggest challenge to get into cloud is finding time to study, which is number one. Uh, so I talk about this in one of my other video. I'm going to give a link to that uh, with timestamp. So you can go take a look at how I make time to study um, because that is very important for full time professional with family. Uh, it, it's important and it's difficult, but you got to do it. So watch that video if you need. So the next one is a lack of hands-on opportunities. So if you're following a course that courses these days generally have demos, hands-on, and then uh, about open source project, I'm going to give some links to some good open source projects that you can take a look at. Uh, I generally like doing uh, Alexa projects or AWS uh, sample projects. Uh, so I'll link some of that. You can take a look. And also the next thing I think is a big thing is uncertainty about where to start and where to go next. Because uh, when I started my cloud journey, AWS was the biggest, there was no brainer, and also the number of services was less. Also, I felt like number of material was less, which was actually okay. Now, if you search something, there are so many things that comes up, it's like very difficult to decide where to start. So we're going to talk about that. They actually go over that in this report as well. And it actually aligns with what we found out before in one of my prior videos. So this is an interesting chart which ties to what you should learn. So current cloud expertise, AWS is number one. However, desired cloud expertise, see Azure interest is more than AWS now because AWS is big now. So so as you can see, AWS expertise was most common among our respondents with more than 80%, uh, followed by Azure and GCP between 30 and 35. However, when individuals were asked which cloud provider they plan to train on in future, Azure jumped out to narrow lead at 54%, followed closely by AWS and GCP. So this actually aligns with the previous video I did, uh, which shows that if you are new, pick either AWS or Azure at this point. 
and this was derived based on the job numbers i'll take i'll put a link uh, for that video as well take a look if you want but if your company is going to gcp then start with gcp so basically if your company is investing and doing hands-on in a cloud learn that cloud if not learn either aws uh, or azure so now this is a very important uh, part of this report uh, so you can see what are the hottest cloud skills uh, so number one is devops two kubernetes three aws and then all the other ones uh, which which also aligns with what we found out before however one thing to note if you are new to it or you are in college and you are learning stuff uh, don't go for this directly uh, so i ran the job numbers in linkedin i have it in my trusty notebook so the highest demand is database so it doesn't matter which cloud you join or which project you join chances are that project uses some database so make sure you learn database at least one sql and one no sql uh, so if you are learning cloud uh, so from aws perspective you can learn uh, rds aws rds or and aws aurora for sql for no sql learn aws dynamodb and the next thing is uh, api so there are 200,000 jobs on database and 67,000 jobs on APIs. So after you learn database, learn what is API, uh, how, the, how can you deploy API, open API spec, uh, all those traffic splitting, proxy, all that stuff. Then comes this chart, okay? And the next thing is, how much should you learn on that subject? Uh, so the problem is uh, things like uh, Kubernetes, DevOps, they are big technology it's impossible to learn every little thing about this in two months three months or whatever right um, so put a finite goal for yourself so if you are learning kubernetes maybe set the goal as learn all the basics of kubernetes and then learn how to deploy a three-tier application in kubernetes maybe deploy a database in kubernetes uh, but maybe not go super deep on service mesh uh, in the beginning and maybe that's reserved for later on so because if you set the goal as yourself as i want to learn everything about kubernetes it is impossible and you you will get frustrated and you will give up same thing for devops uh, put a target like hey in the next two and a half months uh, i'm going to learn uh, the devops tools in aws and also I'll learn how to deploy a serverless model or a container application uh, using DevOps. But if you put a goal like, I'm going to learn everything about Jenkins, everything about AWS DevOps tools, everything about Azure DevOps tools, everything about GitLab, it's not possible, right? So pick something and then go for it. And how can you pick depending on what I do is I will go to LinkedIn jobs and then I look at the DevOps jobs, for example, in my area, and then I see what they're looking for in general and try to come up with some common patterns and then go after it. If you see that uh, most of these jobs are looking for AWS DevOps, then I would learn that. Uh, and if you see like every only 10% of jobs are asking about GitLab CICD, uh, then I won't prioritize that, right? So that's how I come up with uh, what to learn and how much to learn. Coming back to this report, uh, so three things, the rise of Azure, we talked about that. Uh, degrees are out, certs are in, so this is super true. Uh, so when I interview people these days, uh, we really don't care about what degrees they have. Uh, we try to see what certifications they achieved because uh, the cloud is moving so fast. We need to find people who will learn and keep up with the technology. Gone are the days when you learn something one time and then you just use it year after year and you don't need to do a major upskilling after that. With cloud, things are changing. So we need to hire people who will always be learning uh, and adapting. Third, education is the key. So you have to study, uh, you have to keep up with the technology. So that's the video, guys and girls. Just a quick announcement, I have created discount coupons for all my courses. I have four courses now. So one is the DynamoDB for AWS Certified Database Specialty. That's on plural site. If you have membership, you can go watch it. It's included in the membership. And my course on Kubernetes, uh, serverless and cloud formation uh, with DevOps. 
uh, in all, all those areas. Uh, so I have given the link in the description. Check them out if you're interested. If not, no worries at all. Uh, if you like this video, do all the YouTube stuff. Like this video, uh, comment, subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.